So this here is the RTOM board. Of a train RTU, RTOM RT board, as you could see, it's in my hand and it goes right in the slot right there. You see all those wires dangling. So, today I did something a bit out of the ordinary, a little bit out of the ordinary. So, on this unit, uh, we wanted to get a uh, column common, common alarm out. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Uh, if you're in commercial HVAC, you'll know. We want to have a common alarm output. So any, so basically any alarm, any alarm the unit goes into, whatever, any alarm, doesn't matter, major, minor, critical, non-critical, we want to um, trigger, trigger the, uh, trigger that um, output. Our, 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 that we want to be notified of that. And this unit, it, it, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't ship with that option even though it has the ability because this board right here i found online that uh that uh what am i call it um it it has the ability so uh j12 j12 plug number six or terminal six or pin six that's your common alarm uh relay output on i think this this is the relay right here uh, is that uh k1 yeah, K1, this K1, little cube relay right in the board, right? That's a K1 relay. That's what triggers that output. So any alarm, it will trigger 24 volts to J, uh, J, uh, J12, wire number six, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, J12 and wire six. So you see I have a wire. I solder it. Use my soldering hand and I solder a wire to the bottom of this board, out to the terminal. I put it aside. So I'm going to use this wire. And I'm gonna, it's 24 volts. Whenever it goes in any, any alarm, 24 volts is gonna be out, output, outputted or be coming to this wire right here. It will be active, 24 volts, AC. And then I'm just gonna come and connect a C wire to the other side of the relay coil right here, right? It's a C, I'm gonna use this, put this to C. And then over here is the 24 volts hot. So every time any alarm whatsoever, this relay is gonna active. And then I have the contacts right here, which I have these two blue wires attached to. Which I'm gonna in turn use it to kill this, kill the main fan, right? Because that's what we want. We want to be able to accomplish that, but we couldn't do it simply because there's no physical uh, dry contact output. That's the correct word. That was that's the word I was looking for. There was no physical dry contact output for common alarm. So yeah, a little bit out of the ordinary. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this back into the unit right now. You can see I got my wire soldered on, soldered on. A little bit out of the ordinary. I'm gonna put this back in. I'm hook this really up, hook everything up. I got common on that RT RTM board. There's common on that board. I don't want to drop this thing right here, so put it on safely over there. There's a C or 24 volt C on the RTM board. Uh right, right over there in the corner, I could pick that up. C O M. Can you see it? Let me zoom in. Yeah, right, so you got the Y. So you got the RTM board, RTRM board. You don't need, you don't need to use a CTI. You can just hook up your regular thermostat right there. R, Y1, you know, you got all the regular thermals there. So you got the C right here is a COM. I think that's common. It's not common. I'll double check it, but that's where I'm gonna put my other wire, make it easier for me. It's being like the other board is going to be installed right there. You see all the wires dangling. And then I want to know where to put all these wires back, right? It's easy. Schematic is right here. Is it this one or that one? That's the RTM. Yeah, this is a schematic right here. Schematic right here. Is that it? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Modbus. Where is it? Say RTM. I don't know, but this is the board though. You think it would say R T O M somewhere? This is the board. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I don't see it. I don't say that. But this is the board, though. This is the board. Okay. Is it the board? Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. It looks like the board. That's not. That's the board. 
that's the board. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> this is the board. Yeah, I find it rather weird. Here is a board, you see? I bet you guys are laughing at me in the, in the laughing at me over there. Oh, what is this guy talking about? Here's a board, RTM. So yeah, this is the plug that I use, uh, J, where is it? J12, you can see J12 does not, like, pin six, there's nothing there. It's not even been utilized. There's no six and, oh, wait a minute, no. No. Only two wires on J12 right now. Literally. Two wires. Uh, that, so, so, so there's no, there's no wires for pin six, but pin six, um, is that, is a common alarm out. All right. So yeah, so this basically, I'm going to know to put my wires back. I'm simply going to look, all the wires has a number on it, a letter, you can see. So I'll just look at the wire that goes to the, to the plug. And then I say, all right, this got W65. So we know it's going to be plugged to J1, right? And then I go over here. All my wires has a number. For example, this wire here, it says a uh, 141A and 142A. So I know this plug, does it say where? Oh, look, P44. But um, that's one way you can identify it, I guess. Look for P44, which is going to be your drawing. And then, but another way, well, how I do it, I just look at the wire. It's the wire right here. So I know that it's one, what was it? 142. Uh, and 141 so 142a and 141 hey so i'll just go around the board i'll go around the board i'm looking for wire it's a two it's a two so i well i guess you could just use the p number because it's p22 there's p looks like pp44 p44 but you get the idea right i mean that's how i do it the p44 is right here Have you seen that right there that's P44. And see the wire, wait a minute. 155. Where is it right? I didn't even write. I mean. Oh P41. <laughs> what? Where's my stuff right here? P41. Let's find P41. P41. Where's P41? You see P you guys see P41? Six. Give me two wires, so, uh, 42 right there, 44, 41 right here, here it is, and you see 141A and 142A, right, have you seen it, 141A, 142A, and P41, so yeah, it's rather easy how to just put, the, put all the wires back onto the board, you ain't got to worry, like some people, when they're replacing the board, they're so scared, they're so nervous, they go, I don't want to know where all the wires go. So I gotta take a picture. I have to take a picture of it and I'm so scared. Dude, you gotta ski my dick. It's there. Like, just relax, alright? Anyways, let me hook this up. You guys wanna see, just wait for it. I'm gonna do some testing. Alright? You don't have to, but you know. Just something out of the ordinary that I'm doing today. As you can see, it is definitely out of the ordinary, right? Maybe a little bit out of the ordinary. Alright, stay, stay, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm all hooked up right now. There's no alarm. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and create one. It's gonna pull the discharge your sensor. And uh, right away, I'm shutting down. Because uh, it's, not a, it's not a full alarm, it's just a subtle, it's a warning basically. Service required. But because of this setup, you know, I'm break this relay here controls uh, the command of the VFD to enable the VFD or the run command. So once that relay is open or they are de-energized, um, the VFD is going to ramp down. So very soon I'm going to see, followed by this little service required warning here, um, it's going to give me the airflow proven alarm, which is, which is a critical alarm. So what I did here, I'm enabling this unit to shut down on any fault, like you know, any fault whatsoever, any fault, subtle or not, like something like this that wouldn't usually shut the fan off or, or the supply fan will keep going um, some, with something like this. Uh, now it's shutting it down 
regardless because of this setup right here. Since I'm using the alarm out, see my little wire here? That's the wire that I soldered on the board. Black wire, if you remember. And you know, see, that's going to my relay coil. Yeah, and then common is on common down there. I mean, you could pick a common up anywhere, but I put it down in the bottom there. So it's convenient. It was convenient on the board. So I put it right there. And yeah, so it's, it's working. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug that. All right, the sensor is plugged back in. Actually, no, it's not. It's not plugged back in. I'm gonna plug the sensor back in. Hey. It's dark in there. Let's plug the sensor back in. It's my discharge your sensor. And that's gonna automatically reset, but the unit the unit won't restart because you know we have the airflow alarm occurring simply because this subtle warning or service acquired situation. Supply your temperature sensor fail. Um that actually triggers the that little relay in the board, the one I was pointing out earlier, this relay right here. It triggered that. And so when that's triggered, now because I'm using that output uh, to power this relay right here, which in turn I use to, you know, break uh, the coil or the 24 volts to this uh, relay, which controls the VFD enable. Because these contacts is what it was going to the VFD drive to enable or disable the VFD drive. So with, with any nuance, any simple alarm, this machine is going to shut down and that's what we want that's what we wanted to accomplish again this rtm board is capable of doing it out of the box but you know if you didn't purchase it with that option uh, you, you, you don't get it i mean they literally just give you a, 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 a like there's no wire in that plug and, and that pin connector all right yeah so i'm going to go and reset this right here now do it one more time reset it and you see when you reset that relay should move Ah, here it goes. I'm sure you guys see that. I mean, I hope you saw it. It's gonna start up again. So it's starting up. Because now the drive is enabled. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead just for the elevator again. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this right here. See the drive is going up. I'm gonna pull this right here. Supply here again, discharge. And watch that relay. It's gonna get activated. And the moment it does, oh, I missed it. You see the drive is going back down, right? I missed it. But anyways. <clears throat> you get the idea? Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back real quick. So that's pretty much where it's at. The move was a success. Immediately, the uh, relay de uh, uh, de uh, de energized and the fan is starting back up. If I pull that, again, I just pulled it. 